Hi all, Carver Moore here, and uh, this is my 76th standard review. Conan the Barbarian for Modiphius's 2D20 system. This is a fantastic buy. It combines the savagery of Mad Max with the nature of Game of Thrones' wildlings. And it's just, it's a beautiful combination. Wow. Um, the things here are really the barbarian peoples of Hyboria. It, it is absolutely well done. This, uh, it just, I have no big complaint about this. I don't really have a complaint at all about this. It's worth the money. Why do I say that? My high praise is that you learn how to roleplay a barbarian. Yes, you roleplay a barbarian. They're not just a class that you have to keep track of more stuff per turn than a wizard, like in other games. It, the savage nature of their world is ingrained to them as they develop. The character creation spinoff in this, to play a barbarian, is inherently necessary. It, the, the changes to that field are brilliant and mandatory. Okay, so, before I go on too long about the gushiness of this, there's more content that I have time to cover in this. And uh, I'm going to do a shout out to Dennis. Uh, thank you, Dennis, uh, for reviewing my channel, looking at it. Um, you inspired me to do this review. And I figured rather than ask everybody what they want. I seen what Dennis was talking about. And let's get to the key points. Casts. Remember, anything related to character creation that I'm going to talk about has the word barbarian in front of it, but I figured that would get monotonous. Casts goes from 5 to 7. Stories, 8 to 10. Archetypes, 10 to 12. Um, natures on 13 educators on 13 as well barbarian war stories are on 14 gear and names are on 15 so how do you name your barbarian uh, how did you acquire your first weapon uh, what sort of garments and regalia do you have that, that is all on 15 your talents range from page 16 to 19 uh, other equipment ranges from 19 to 21. Uh, transportation in the north, um, that's on 21 to 22. Uh, you have a Cimmerian village generator on page 30. That is awesome. Let, let me show you that really quick. Because, wow. Uh, like, there are so many different... It, there's such a variety of content in here. And... Knowing what you're getting into. That's awesome. It, it has its own feel because of that. Um, Nordheimer, uh, pages 39 to 45. It, it's a region, as many of you know, but some people might not know that. But they have villages. They have other ideas they have nomadic groups and it, it goes deep into that and then there's something called a thing a thing is basically any major event that results in feasting and intermingling of different peoples and cultural events a, a thing as it's called in the book is basically some sort of festival it is the only thing that happens um, then you have migrations on, uh, sorry, things go from 55 to 58, migrations from 58 to 61, raids from 61 to 64, 
And then you have uh, enemies? No, sorry. Ship versus ship on 64 and 65. And then you have taboos on 70 and 71. They're called geysis. I'm pretty sure I slaughtered the pronunciation of that on 70 to 71. But the taboos really integrate how the barbarians feel about certain actions. And it's a it's a beautiful role-playing experience because if you believe something to be negative and harmful, you will be affected by it. it it's amazing. It is role-playing distilled down to you. And it's beautiful. Rooms on 74, enemies on 78 through 97, and then you have renowned characters on 98 through 105, campaigns on 110 through 114, just general like adventure hooks basically, with, with a little bit more uh, as a beginning, middle, and end, but they're, it's very condensed. It's nowhere near the length of an adventure. But it's kind of a framework for where your mind should be if you're creating an adventure like that. Um, rights and Traditions on 114 to 118. Trouble Table on 122. Carousing on 122 to 126. My pros here, it's worth every penny. Uh, there's more content that I could cover in the seven minutes I want to spend on this. And I don't want to flip through too much of it because it's not very thick. This is worth it. If you like the Book of Skellos, you're going to love this. Um, do I recommend? Absolutely. Cover one 